After Dad and I filled our tags out east, it was time to come back home. Despite feeling sick, I was feeling the spirit Monday, and man am I sure glad I went. Well, I was just sitting up here looking around. I looked down the hill and there was a deer coming up through her. <coughs> I could tell it was a pretty big deer, but I figured it was that one I seen this morning. So I walked down the hill and was trying to class it. And it came out and like an idiot, I didn't take the gun or the camera with me to walk down there. And sure enough, it stepped out around through her and it was a pretty nice buck, about two years which is pretty good around here. But he's coming out down around, and that road comes out right up above me on his hill. So as long as he keeps following that path he's on, he's gonna come out right in front of me. And he's probably about right there right now. So it shouldn't be any time before he pops up right here. Got him. It is now time for the evening hunt. The rut is in the air and the spirit is being felt. The spirit of the wild is running free. I've got the spirit of the wild inside of me. I see a deer. He's rubbing a tree. I wish he would come down to me. If he comes in and he turns broadside, to heaven he shall arrive. If his horns come around and form a basket, he shall be taken out of this life in a casket. For if he walks into the spirit realm, his spirit will forever roam. Oh no, I ran out of words there. <laughs> evening hunt I'm gonna sit here watch this hillside the only problem about this spot is you can't really see down here into this bottom because it's so the, the sun's like right there it kind of hurts to look into but uh, there was a doe and two little ones like right down here so I seen a doe and a spike this morning so we're gonna see what happens I know there's got to be a big one in here there always is or there's always a doe that ends up going in heat and a big one all of a sudden shows up. That's usually what happens, but maybe maybe we'll see a coyote too. I'd like to kill a coyote. Predator hunting's just fun, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna get to looking for deer. Y'all stay tuned.
baby. He is dead, baby. He is dead, baby. <sighs> Didn't want to cry. He walked into the spirit realm and he just smoked. <laughs> <laughs> Muy Grande smacks the dirt. <laughs> look at the beautiful sunset too, man. I mean, just look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Hey, get me in the frame with that, man. Look at this. There's a beautiful sunset over here. Man, uh, this has been a great year for me, man. I just, I went through a whole attitude change. Started looking at everything more positively. And even when it sucked, I tried to keep a positive attitude the best that I could, man. And I, and I mean, look at just the beauty of what's happening right now, man. Look at this. I'm sitting here talking to you. I just shot a monster buck. I was blocking the beautiful sun. And there's a beautiful sunset right here that I get to talk in front of. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh. <sighs> let's go get him. What do we do? Let me put my coat back in my backpack and let's go get this deer. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking puke. Oh, I'm gonna puke, man. I'm gonna puke. Let's go get this deer, ladies and gentlemen. Shall we? Beautiful, 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 holy, look at me, my pretty, that's, what a beautiful evening, man, what a beautiful day, man, I just, man, I was just feeling it, this, I was just feeling it yesterday, I was feeling it Saturday, but I didn't come up here yet, but today, and yesterday, I was feeling it. Oh, it's cold, but I like it because that's when Big Louie steps out and gets slocked. I see a dead buck, man. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's a nice buck. Oh. Can you see where he tried to get under that? But he didn't make it. No. Oh. Holy crap. Is that just a six pointer? Oh. That's a pretty nice buck. He might only be a seven. That's a pretty nice deer. Dang man, that opened him up. There wasn't no blood real standing that man. But it opened him up for sure. Oh man, that's a nice buck. Lucky there. Oh man. About out to his ears. <sighs> oh man, that was fun. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Mature buck for where I'm hunting at. This is about as big as they get. This is a big old mature deer. I mean, I haven't killed a deer this big, bodied and mature in a while here at this place. This deer weighs, he's not too fat. Like he doesn't have a lot of fat on him, but I mean, he's just big and muscular. Like, I mean, it's kind of surprising me, but uh, it's about as big as they get rack-wise out here too. There's probably some big ones roaming around. Usually the big ones, this one's like a big one that usually lives here where I'm hunting at. Uh, 
usually they don't get much bigger than this. If they do, they've come off of some private land around here, and chased a doe or something up here, but he, he, he's living here because that's about what they look like. But uh, about an 18 inch wide seven pointer. It's about usually what the big ones are when you kill them right here. This is a big old mature deer too. I mean, big old mature deer. Most of him will probably go to hamburger after I get some good pictures of him tomorrow. Holy crap, man, that's awesome, man. I can't believe that. Just past his ears, so I'd say he might he might make might make 19, but I'd say 17, 18 inches wide. But uh, you kill one like this right here where I'm at, you've done something because they're hard to come by. Uh, you know we hunted here a lot last year, and uh, you know like the one I killed from my longbow last year. I mean he was a good little bit smaller than this one, but he was still a pretty good deer. But I like doing it with the smoke pole. There's something about it when that thing touches off. They never go far though, but holy crap, man, that's a big buck. <laughs> I mean, that's a big old body sucker there too. Oh, man, thank you, Lord. Look how big that sucker's head is, man. I mean, gray in the face too. It's been a while since I've killed a big old deer like that right here. I'm still at a loss for words, man. <laughs> the old Thompson Center Triumph. Filled the barrel full of spirit this morning. It was cock lock and ready to rock, Doc. And guess what? Perfect weather, perfect conditions, and a perfect buck has been smoked. And right here he is. If his ba if his rack makes a basket, he'll leave in a casket. <laughs> if he stops broadside to heaven, he'll arrive. And he's already arrived. Thank you, buddy. So that's gonna be a fun drag, but I gotta get some pictures before it starts getting dark. Oh, man. Feel the spirit on that one, baby. Gosh, it's a big buck. <clears throat> now that the pictures are out of the way, it's done got dark, now I gotta gut him. And I got a long drag. So let's get it started. I finally got him back to the gate. That was a long ways. Probably took me about an hour. But now I gotta walk up to the truck. Well, I got him hung up. Then I just come to realize now that I got him put up in here how I, like how big this deer is. Like, I don't know if y'all can really see this, but like, that's the tip of my hand there to my elbow. So the size of my forearm this way, from my elbow to the tips of my fingers, is just how broad his body is right here at his shoulder. I mean, look at the ham on that thing, man. That's. That's two foot across. Just from across the hand, that's two foot. Good night. <laughs> that's a big old deer, ladies and gentlemen. 